welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thanks for tuning in and if you're a new subscriber please uh, click that subscribe button and like this video um, as I will be dropping tons of content for you guys uh, so let's just dive right into video um, so this video is about when to apply for your second and third credit card with Navy Federal Credit Union so if you already have a credit card with Navy Federal um, and you're looking to apply for another one, then you're in the right place um, where I will give you uh, good details on how to apply. Um, so, yeah, let's dive right in. So, with Navy Federal uh, Credit Union, you are um, only allowed three credit cards. Um, and uh, so you'll have, so you can only have three credit cards um, with Navy Federal as you have basically with your personal account. Um, and so if you do have an, a credit card with them, and it is a Navy Federal Credit Union secure credit card, um, this does not count as one of your one of your third credit cards. Um, so basically, if you're a Navy Federal secure credit card, um, you already have it, uh, that can actually graduate to a different credit card. Um, so yeah, um, so those are just like key things that a lot of people don't actually know. Uh, so, um, that's good to know. It's really good to know if you don't know, uh, so you can know when applying for these credit cards. Um, bonus tip also I wanted to add is that you can also start a business account to apply for, uh, three more credit cards if need be. Um, but I have, I'm not a lawyer or a accountant or a tax specialist or a business consultant. So, uh, this is just a bonus tip. If you already have a business and you're looking to, you know, um, apply for more, uh, credit cards or more credit, um, then you could do so with, um, your business account. But, you know, uh, there are tons of products and services the Navy Federal offer besides credit cards like lines of credit and loans as well that you can apply for um, on the personal side. So um, Navy Federal has this 91-3 rule. Um, not too many people know about this, but it, it does mention it very vaguely in the approval letter when you do um, get approved for your credit card um, or if you get denied for uh, from a credit card, but usually it just talks about, uh, you can apply for a new credit card, uh, within three statements or 91 days from the first credit card you got approved for. Um, and that's when you can apply for the second or third card. Uh, and basically the 91, three rule starts from the date of approval and not the date of when you activate your card. So if you got your card in the mail, and then you activate your card, that 91 uh, 3 rule does not um, count after that. It basically counts the date you got approved. Um, so whenever you got the approval email, that's the date where the 91 3 rule comes in, comes effective. Um, so after 91 days or three billing statements, then you can apply for your second or third credit card. Um, yeah, and this rule basically, again, this applies for the same amount of time between the second and third card. So when you get your second card and you got approved on that date, then 91 um, days or three billing statements, uh, you can, after you wait uh, for that period of time, then you can apply for your last third credit card. Okay. So I just wanted to add in this video a couple of approval tips. So if you're interested in actually getting your second or third credit card, uh, these are some tips to do, um, you know, just to make sure that you will get approved so you don't have to worry about any denial um, reason. So basically, um, you can, there is a new feature on Navy Federal that you can use the pre-qualification tool before applying. So this is always this always comes in handy um, if your score has dropped or if your score has increased. You can also just see if you pre-qualify again once you apply for your first credit card. Um, you can see if you pre-qualify for another credit card um, after applying, um, before applying actually. Um, so I have a video on that. I will link that um, uh, in the end cards and also um, in the description below. So that you can check that out on how to use the pre-qualification tool if interested. 
Um, and then another tip is to make sure your debt to income and utilization is low. So I uh, usually make sure that's low because um, if you do have a high, well, if you do have a high balance on your first card, then that could be a reason of denial. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're paying off your credit card down. You're gonna make sure you don't have any debt on a credit card when applying for your new credit card, um, because then that then you become a high risk and it doesn't really look good. So just make sure uh, that you know those are under thirty percent, um, really under ten percent. But if you can get it under thirty percent, then um, you know you're you're in the green. So this is like a credit hack. Um, if you do have a a high um, utilization on your credit card. What you can do is you can ask for a credit limit increase on the first credit card that has the high utilization. Um, and if you do also have a debt to income that's high, then you can it, you can basically uh, ask for a credit limit increase. And if you do get that credit limit increase, it makes sure utilization goes down and makes sure debt to income go down as well. So those are credit hacks to get approved. If you feel like you know you can get a few points boosted before applying for that next credit card, um, you know I would recommend that. Um, but the credit limit increase is also a hard increase, so just keep in mind uh, it's kind of like double the jeopardy. Um, so you know it, it it's basically on your case scenario. Um, but yeah. So this is basically where I come in, you know, and basically want to give you guys more tips is, you know, just basically listen up, be a responsible, be very responsible, actually guys, be very responsible with every federal credit union. Uh, you know, if you're new to credit and you're looking to build a relationship with every federal credit union um, and you love their products and services, this is really a good credit union. Um, you know, I go by the rule of thumb of take care of your credit so it can take care of you. So just make sure, you know, you take care of your credit. You, um, immerse yourself with a lot of knowledge on their products and services and their rules. Um, you know, cause Navy Federal is, is one of the best, if not the best, it is the best in my opinion, but it's, it's one of the best credit unions out there. And, you know, and they're, they're, like I said, they're called the house of, um, high limits and they're a very genuous, um, generous with um, high limit credit cards. Um, and they will approve you, you know, if you show that you are uh, very responsible um, with, you know, with your credit card, your credit. And, uh, you know, you'll be a really happy camper with them. Um, so, you know, uh, good luck to you. Good luck to you. So thanks for watching. Um, if you, you know, gained anything from this video, make sure you guys subscribe. Please press that notification bell because I'll be dropping more videos like this. And like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.